This is the only hour on an American news channel that will not be carrying their propaganda live. They are lying and we are not going to help them do it. But we did not think it was an insurrection because it was not an insurrection. It was not even close to an insurrection. January 6th was the culmination of an attempted coup, a brazen attempt, as one rioter put it shortly after January 6th, to overthrow the government. Donald Trump, the President of the United States, spurred a mob of domestic enemies of the Constitution to march down the Capitol and subvert American democracy. There's absolutely nothing, nothing new, multi-hour Democratic fundraiser masquerading as a January 6th hearing. Instead, it is a made-for-TV smear campaign against President Trump featuring sliced and diced video that fits their predetermined political narrative from the very beginning, accompanied by the biggest Trump haters on Capitol Hill. But most emblematic of those days is this exchange of texts between Sean Hannity and former President uh, Trump's press secretary, Kayleigh McEnany. Sean Hannity wrote, in part, key now, no more crazy people, no more stolen election talk. Yes, impeachment and 25th Amendment are real. Many people will quit. Ms. McEnany responded, in part, love that. That's the playbook. This is the kind of propaganda show that we used to make fun of when it took place in totalitarian, when you were a kid, you remember that? I mean, yeah. we had this vibrant, lively news media and people debated things and we'd look over at these totalitarian hellholes and say, you know, they turn on their TVs and they get this pre-produced lying. Donald Trump and his advisors knew that he had in fact lost the election. But despite this, President Trump engaged in a massive effort to spread false and fraudulent information to convince huge portions of the U.S. population that fraud had stolen the election from him. They're not interested in what actually happened. They are purposely omitting what is critical information we will tell you about tonight. That there was this systemic corruption in the system and that their votes didn't count and that these machines controlled by somebody else were actually determining it, which was complete nonsense. And it was being laid out there. And I told them that it was, that it was, uh, crazy stuff and they were wasting their time on that and uh, it was doing a great grave disservice to the country. With respect to Attorney General Barr, um, so I accepted what he said was saying. It's been sensationalized with very specific objectives that have nothing to do with upholding the Constitution or what's in the best interest of the country and the American people. John Eastman and other Trump lawyers knew that their legal arguments had no real chance of success in court, but they relied on those arguments anyway to try to, quote, overturn a democratic election. They are lying, and we are not going to help them do it.